Hi, this is Tony from HillQuest Dual Sport. Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the things I like about my 2021 DRZ400S. Now, first of all, I apologize for having to dub over this video. Last weekend when I took my bike out to the trails, my video didn't work and especially the quality of the audio was not very well adjusted to the sound of the wind blowing through it so it didn't turn out very well so i'm going to share my ride on this gravel road outside my town and talk about things that i like so i really don't have anything that i can compare it to besides my crf 250l so everything will be as compared to that so first off the hop i'm going to talk about the suspension so I ride about 205 pounds all decked out with my gear and the stock suspension set up at the dealership is exactly right for what my weight is and for the type of riding that I'm doing right now. So as I get in a little deeper, uh, I may want to adjust that, but uh, having the ability to adjust it as compared to the CRF 250L is the key here. So um, immediately I noticed that the front end is a little bit more responsive with less rebound. Uh, there's quite a bit more travel as you go over the different ruts and rocks, etc. And with the back end, it is set up a little stiff, but that's the way I like it. But as compared to the CRF 250L, uh, definitely night and day, uh, way less bounce when you go over the whoops and uh, it just feels a lot more in control and a whole lot more comfortable for the riding style that I do. So number one, absolutely I like the suspension as set up stock by the dealership. Secondly, the standing position. So I have put in some bar risers and I did keep the stock handlebars. But immediately I noticed that the setup and the way the pegs are situated in comparison with a standing position, it's a little bit more upright and a little less forward feeling than the CRF 250L. So for my height and the way I like to ride, it is perfectly set up for a comfort ride while standing up. One thing I would also like to say that as compared to the 250L, when you stand, my knees, or when I stand, my knees hit when I grip the, the bike, uh, they will grip against the metal gas tank. And that uh, isn't very comfortable if I'm not wearing knee pads and it doesn't give me that much control. What I like about the DRZ400 is when I grip the bike with my knees it's gripping against the seat so not only is it more comfortable with more cushion I find that I have a lot more control and more feel when I am riding in a standing position so definitely a plus there this is on a lot of people's negative list but for me it's on a positive and the fact that the DRZ 400 is carbureted and Although it takes some time to learn how to start it by using the choke, because it isn't something that I'm used to using. I haven't used a carbureted bike for 25 years. But I have to say that once uh, I, I've figured out the intricacies of the bike, it is uh, fairly easy to start. But more so, uh, I get a better feel and action in the accelerator response. You twist the grip, and it goes immediately compared to the crf 250l there was a little bit of lag time um, the benefit is with having a fuel injection absolutely but the response wasn't quite there now that may have to do with the larger motor and the amount of torque available but just the response at twisting the grip way way better at uh, accelerating and and feeling more confident with the DRZ 400s next uh, I feel that it has lighter steering 
Um, that might have something to do with the tires that I have, the Pirelli M21s on the front, but it just doesn't feel as sluggish and it's a little bit more flickable. Uh, the, the, the 250L was felt heavy and, and sluggish, even with the full capacity of air in the tires, it just wasn't that easy to steer. So that's one thing that I really like about the DRZ. Uh, definitely have a lot more feel and response and agility, I'm going to say, uh, with the way the steering feels. Lastly, and again, a lot of people say this is negative. I really like it as a positive. The comfort of the seat. Now, I know some of you are going to say, hold on, Tony, that seat is not comfortable at all. And for the type of riding I do, a combination of sitting and standing, I can be out on it for several hours and I'm really not feeling the effects of that com uncomfortable seat. As a matter of fact, I feel quite comfortable, but I'm comparing it again to the CRF 250L, which is not very comfortable at all. So um, I rather like the seat and we'll see what happens as I get further down the road. I may spring for a alternative seat that some others have purchased and rave about but for now I'm just gonna save that 450 bucks and stick with the seat that comes with it. Well that about covers all the things that I like so far with the time that I've ridden this DRZ 400S. So in the comments maybe share with me what you like about your DRZ 400S or what you don't like about it and my next video will be about the things that I don't like. So until then, ride safe and talk to you later.